In this lesson, I'm going to speak to you a little bit about CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And basically, it's easier if I show you, so let's open up the document we've been working with, whatever you named it, mine on poetry. And F4, all these tool palettes, so to speak, or uh, windows we use to make modifications over here and below here. If you hit F4, they'll all disappear and you'll just see the, the page itself. So hit F4. And there it is. So now you're looking at the page as it would be seen, so to speak. Remember, we created our contact and our information links in the last lesson. Now, by cascading style sheets, what I mean is if you remember, um, there's different sections to this template we've created. So we have our header section, our body section, and then our column that's locked in width over here. So by cascading style sheets, it just means that this section is a sheet cascading over top or behind this section or slightly overlapping this section. It just means it's broken apart into sections. So what we're going to do in this lesson is change the background color, which actually over here, this is the background, this gray. So these are cascaded over top the background, all these sections. So what we're first going to do is press F4 to get our tools back again. Now over here, CSS styles cascading style sheets styles. So we want to make sure all is selected because if we have current, for instance, if we're clicked on poetry here and current is selected, that means that we're modifying the style only of that section, that, um, that cascaded piece up here, the header. But if we have all, now we're modifying, modifying the, the style of the whole page. So depending on what you want to do, you're going to use current. But in this case, let's use all. Now once all is selected, you'll see this. Now if it's not expanded, go ahead and expand it with the plus sign. So now you see under style, what do we want to modify the style of? We want to modify the style of the body. So click on body, and now this changes appropriately. So it shows you the background font, the uh, what font would be used if you put text in the background, um, how how that sheet is aligned. So if any text was put in there, so on and so forth, margining. But we're going to deal with color. So once body is selected here under style. We're going to choose the pencil down here, and if you hover over it, you see how it says Edit Style. So we're going to edit the style of the body of this sheet. So once we hit the pencil, then this will come up, CSS Rule Definition for Body. So we have a lot of options here, but today we're just going to deal with background and background color. Very simple. So click on that color. Now we have an eyedropper, and we get to choose what color we want the background to be. So I'm going to choose a yellow, pick whatever you want. And now hit apply and OK. And you're like, well, where is it? I don't see it. Remember, we have to hit F4 again. Aha. Now we see we've changed the background color to this yellow. So there's a quick lesson in cast it cascading style sheets and how to modify the background color style. There you go.